In a previous video, whose link you can find in the description, I showed you how to simplify this charging capacitor circuit in order to determine equations for the voltage across and the current through the capacitor. The basic idea is to thevenize the circuit to get an equivalent circuit that looks like this. If you didn't already, be sure to check out the original video where I use Thevenin's theorem to get this equivalent circuit, and you can find the link to it in the description. And in this video, I'm going to use LT Spice to confirm the results. So here we are in LT Spice, and I'm going to start building the original circuit. And I've actually swapped the position of the resistor and the capacitor on the right hand side, just to make it easier to measure the voltage across this capacitor. And then I'll drop down the simulation statement. I'm going to run it for three seconds, start saving data at zero seconds, and I'm going to do a time step of 0 0.01 seconds. And then I need to make sure that the initial voltage on the capacitor is at zero volts. So I'm going to put a label on it, call it VC1, and then put an initial condition statement on to make the voltage of VC1 equal to zero volts. Now when I go and simulate, I can take a look at the voltage across the capacitor and I can see it charging up to 12 volts. And I'll take a look at the current through the capacitor and I can see it starts at 80 milliamps and goes down to zero milliamps once the capacitor is fully charged. Now let's go back to the circuit and build the Thevenin equivalent of this circuit from the point of view of the capacitor. And then I need to tie it into the common reference point to make sure everything can be simulated properly. And now let's set the values for the components. And I need to make sure that the voltage on this capacitor is zero volts as an initial condition. So I'll put a label on it and then add an initial condition statement. And now I can simulate. Now let's go back to the initial circuit, get the voltage across the capacitor and the current through the capacitor. Now I'll go over to the equivalent circuit here and watch what happens to this voltage line, this green voltage line here when I click on the VC2 voltage. It simply changes color and that's because the voltage across this capacitor follows the exact same curve as the voltage across this capacitor. So I get the exact same curve there. And same thing's going to happen with this current through the capacitor. It's in blue for the current through capacitor 1 and if I click on capacitor 2 here we get a lighter blue following the exact same curve. And this is our indication or our evidence that the calculations that I did in the previous video are correct. This circuit here is the Thevenin equivalent of this circuit here. If you didn't already, be sure to check out the original video where I used Thevenin's theorem to get this equivalent circuit, and you can find the link to it in the description. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe, and even better, check out my website where you can find all sorts of content related to AC and DC electrical circuits, including a free open source textbook, as well as supporting practice problems, tutorials, and videos, and you can find the link to that website in the description. As always, thanks for watching, see you next time.